There's generally two things you can count on uh, every four years when you're living in Valley East. Number one, you know that there's going to be a municipal election every four years, and number two, you know that there's going to be a major push to raise the, the profile and raise the momentum for getting a Barry Down Extension Road built from the um, Maley Drive to Notre Dame Avenue in, in Hanron. <clears throat> Every year it's been brought up at election time, uh, the push for a Barry Down Extension to connect the new subway area to Hanron. In my mind, there's absolutely no doubt that Barry Down Extension Highway is going to be built sometime in the next 10 years. However, I think that there are a number of other priorities that uh, we're going to have to take a look at before we get to a position where the Barry Down Extension is going to be a reality. It, it has to be built. It's inevitable. It, it, it has to, we, ha we need another access route to get into the main area of Sudbury. It, the Highway 69 North is just, it's just too busy. Uh, it, the, the corner of LaSalle Notre Dame has really been, uh, it's, it's been renovated to the point where the traffic isn't as bad as it was before, but with, with Hanmer and Val Therese and Val Karen and Blizzard Valley and McCray Heights and Guilletteville and, and with the the corner of uh, uh, LaSalle and Notre Dame, that whole Cambrian Heights area, with the growth potential that we're going to see over the next 10 years, there's going to be a need for another highway. However, before that happens, and, and this is one of the things that I think the whoever the council uh, uh, member is for Ward 6 and the councillor for Ward 5, before you're going to get a buried down ex extension, you're going to have to increase the population of Valley East by about another 5,000 people. You're going to have to increase the, the infrastructure, the sewer and water capacity in the Hanmer area. You're going to have to develop the Valley East Industrial Park so that you develop uh, more subdivision growth. So that you've got a, a, a larger number of people who are actually li not only living in the Valley East area, but a, no a number of people coming from the Sudbury area to work in the valley. So if, if the Valley East industrial sector can be developed, it's not going to only satisfy the employment needs of the people living in Valley East. It's going to satisfy an awful lot of employment needs of people living outside of Valley East. And I think uh, when you take a look at uh, Ward 6 and Ward 5, I think if those two councillors can work together and kind of bring the business community together to try and create a an attractability could create a more attractive environment and a welcoming environment for business development and residential growth then you're going to be in a position where the Barry Down extension will increase in priority and, and the need will be there so that now it comes to the top of the table it comes to the top of the list right now I, I don't think it should be the top priority sitting at council for the next four years but if the Ward 5 and Ward 6 councillors work together, and if the rest of the councillors at the table can see that yes, the, the Valley East and the Ward the, the Ward 5 area should be a growth area, it should be an area that is, is promoted and developed. Almost, it will almost become the downtown core uh, of the city of Greater Sudbury. Then I think there's going to be a need for that connection from New Sudbury out to the valley and out to Capriol where we do have some uh, industrial development going on and then possibly mines opening in Capriol as well so it's going to come and and I do imagine that because it's election year we're going to see a lot of talk about the Barry Down extension my position it's needed it's going to happen but I don't think we have everything in place yet to raise it to the to the level where we should be spending millions and millions and millions of dollars to develop that highway quite yet.